Uh, this is Zach with Quartz for the Man. I was supposed to, I think I was supposed to remember about an interview today. This is, yeah, that's right. What's up, man? How you doing? This is Nunzio. Hey. Let's build a plane Out of styrofoam and cellophane Well, shit. Whatever's left behind the shed Let's cut across The Atlantic where Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan from In The Clouds. We're here in my office uh, working on some back-end systems for a new subdivision we're about to launch called Partly Cloudy. Uh, usually we're filming this up in the attic, but so much going on in the back end this week haven't really had enough time to set up the lights and all that other shit to make it look fancy so stripping it down bare bones and showing you some of the things we're working on now Our customer service team has reached out saying that a lot of uh, customers are coming through asking questions about audio setup if you have questions you can pop this video in and pop it in do people pop in videos anymore it's not a vcr this is fucking you just click the play button and uh, we will run through everything. So here we are on the page for creating a lathe and right away I want to point out this image on the side. This is just a quick example of what your order would look like if you're looking to go the cheapest bare bones route for your order. You'll receive a black vinyl record with blank center labels inside a paper sleeve. Again, this is the most economical package we offer. If you add printed jackets or labels it will obviously change but wanted to point out this hole in the center is actually the inner sleeve. It's not a hole we put into the jacket. We do get a lot of questions from people asking if the jackets have holes in them. They do not. To the right, you'll see our most up-to-date turnaround estimate. I just wanted to point out these times are estimates. They are not set in stone. Because of the timely process of cutting each record and the amount of orders that come in, we can never guarantee these to the date, but we try our best to reach them whenever we can. Other than that, I think the biggest hang-up we get with orders would be how the artwork is submitted. We need them submitted in our templates. Right here, you'll see a link to our templates page where you can go and download the files you need. Using the templates does require a degree of design skills, so if you aren't comfortable using a program like Photoshop, we do have an art assistance option below. Just click that off and someone from our art team will reach out to help you lay everything out in the templates so it comes back from the printer the way you want it to look. The rest is pretty straightforward. Just click off the items you want to add to customize your record from printed jackets, center labels, poly bags, etc. Um, in the track break section, you'll want to write out the names of the song and the order that you want them to appear on the record. And here is that art setup assistance I mentioned earlier. Vinyl mastering is another option we have. This service is optional. Uh, it's not necessary for every order. It really does depend on the quality of the audio that you're submitting. I like to go by the rule, put good in, get good out. If you're just ripping these files and the audio levels are all over the place, you may want to consider it. But again, it's kind of a judgment call you need to make when you're placing the order, and it is completely optional. Then we come to the upload section. This is where you send us your audio and any artwork. Please make sure the audio files are MP3 or WAV and zip down into a single folder. Again, the artwork should be submitted using our templates as mentioned before. Lastly, our price break section. Simply put, the more you buy, the more you save. Add the quantity you'd like and add to cart, and you're ready to go. Also this week we started building out a new subdivision of the company uh, we're calling Partly Cloudy. About a year, year and a half ago, we launched a service called Create a Store where bands can actually sign up and sell their stuff directly on the In The Clouds website. We've had over 50 bands sign up for it within the first year of launching, and it's been a trial, I'm not gonna lie. There's been some things that we need to improve on and some things that are doing really well. We're taking that information in and trying to make it better. Trying to take as much of the shit out um, and building a new platform that would not only allow bands to sell stuff directly on our website, but also create their own storefront. So if they don't wanna have an In The Clouds logo up in the top, they don't need one. This past week we've been working on the back end coding trying to make this new system functional. Hopefully we're going to have this system launched March, which is a few weeks away. Um, if any of the bands are out there that actually use the service, that, I mean, we're trying to be open with you guys as well and let you know of uh, 
the changes that you're going to be seeing. So with this new service, there's going to be a back-end portal where you can see all the sales, all your customer information, create new products, upload the information that we need and audio files so we can actually you know, fulfill your orders. Uh, I know it's not going to have all the bells and whistles that we really want it to have at the initial launch, but it's going to be a ton better than where we're at right now with Creative Store. So keep an eye out for that. So we're trying to spend a lot of time creating content on the website that we think you'd enjoy. One thing that was really awesome this week was uh, an interview we did with Zach from Portugal the Man. Our boy Nunzio sat down with Zach, their bass player, and discussed you know, the evolution that the band has seen um, over the past 10 years. So that interview should actually be up on our website shortly if it's not already there. I'll put a link to it down at the bottom. Um, but be sure to check that out. Here's a quick clip from the interview where it's actually one of my favorite parts where Zach gives uh, a little bit of advice for up and coming bands. Cool. If, any last words or whatever? If not. Well, thank you, man. And uh, uh, we appreciate you, uh, you doing your part in the, uh, in the music scene and helping, helping people because starting out is the hardest thing to do. And so what you're doing at that level is, is perfect and helping other artists. Oh, we appreciate that. Is there any like anything you'd like to say to like an uh, up and coming artist, like one piece of advice? Um, I'd say uh, early on, find out what you want to say and how you want to say it, and then go for it. A lot of people have talent, and a lot of people have drive, and they just haven't quite figured out. And to be honest, we just we still don't totally know uh, who and what we want to be and how. But uh, finding Awesome. Dude, thank you again so much for taking the time. Yo, so not only is Nunzio killing it this week with the content, but his band, Owol, just released a new lyric video for the song No Parachutes off their new album, Paris. We're doing a little pre-order right now for the vinyl if you're into it, but I'm going to lead you out with a clip from the song. Enjoy. Say. 